Wonders of the World. Life's an everyday adventure. That's my philosophy. It was one of the rainiest days ever today. The rain hitting the house was so loud that we almost couldn't hear each other as we ate breakfast. So <laughs> we laughed as we tried to use hand signals to say more please and thank you and you look pretty today. After breakfast, my dog and I didn't know exactly what to do. I was so distracted by the rain that it was all I could think about. So I decided to sit and watch and listen to it. I set us up by the window and we watched the rain show. As we sat there, the coolest thing began to happen. The rain falling from the roof of the house was falling like a waterfall. There was so much water that I laughed because I imagined us floating around the ocean in a submarine. <laughs> it was awesome. My toes and my moccasins thought this was pretty cool too because they were tingling and flipping and flopping like a fish out of water. We weren't doing anything but sitting and watching, yet somehow it was really exciting. My father walked by and asked what we were doing. I told him that I didn't know what else to do, so we were just watching the rain. He sat down too for a few moments, then jumped up and said, Follow me, Miss Molly. I have an idea. I followed him to his thinking room, where he always says most of his good ideas start. He turned around, knocked three times on a drawer in his bookshelves I had never seen before, and it opened. Cool. How did you do that? I asked in awe. I'm full of surprises, Miss Molly, he said as he smiled and reached in the drawer. As if that wasn't mysterious enough, he pulled out a thin blue folder that said, wonders of the world on it. He laid it on his desk, opened it, and inside were lots of pictures of beautiful places in the world. I have been collecting information on these very special places in the world for a long time. Some people call them wonders of the world. I would love to see them with my own eyes someday. Why don't we plan a dream trip and figure out the best route to see them all? my father said as he grabbed the globe. Wow, this was going to be the most fantastic rainy day idea ever. I was reminded of this first place when we were sitting by the window looking at the rain, my father said as he handed me some pictures. <laughs> I giggled because the images were of an enormous waterfall. This is so beautiful, Mr. Father. Where is it? I asked while looking at all of the beautiful pictures. Without looking up, my father responded, That is Victoria Falls in Africa. It is the tallest and widest waterfall in the world. It is so wide that it begins in one country and ends in another. We talked more about the waterfall and how amazing it would be to see it. Finally, we decided that we would love to start in one country at sunrise spend the whole day walking the one-mile path near the bottom of the waterfall, and end with a picnic at sunset in the other country. I bet we'd even get sopping wet from all the spray of the waterfall. Cool. As my father handed me the next bunch of pictures, he made a little flag with a sewing pin and some tape. He stuck it right where Victoria Falls was on the globe. We had our first stop on our dream trip to wondrous places. I didn't really understand what I was seeing in the new pictures, but it was really pretty. It was something called Aurora Borealis, or the Northern Lights. The lights appear naturally like a light show in the night sky. You never really know when you can catch it, but it's almost always near the North Pole, my father said. Then he further explained that all sorts of scientific stuff has to happen to make the light dance and glow in the dark sky. We decided we'd have to catch the awesome sight by camping in an igloo near the North Pole until we finally saw it. We put another flag in the globe and moved on to our third natural wonder. This one I had heard of, the Grand Canyon. The pictures of the deep canyons that were once all underwater were so cool. My father said he heard the best way to experience it was by riding a donkey through it. So 
That is how we thought we should see the magnificent Grand Canyon. Next was Mount Everest, the highest point on Earth. This sounded both scary and fantastic at the same time. My father said that not only does it take a long time to get to that faraway mountain range, but also that very few people ever make it to the top. We both decided it would be exciting enough to just go to the base camp and look up at it while drinking a cup of hot chocolate. Another flag went into the globe. The next two places had to do with water, so we thought we would do one underwater and the other from the air. We thought the Great Barrier Reef off the coast of Australia would be best to see while snorkeling along the coral with all the colorful fish. Then the largest and deepest harbor in the world of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil would be amazing to see by helicopter. If you are high in the sky, the mountains surrounding the harbor almost look like dinosaurs playing in the water. I wanted to see all of that and take my first helicopter ride. The last pictures were of a volcano. It was just outside of Mexico City in Mexico and was called Paricutin. People say it is one of the newest volcanoes in the world and you can walk around the base of it in just a couple of days, my father explained. I couldn't wait to see the fields of lava. And what if it erupted while we were there? That would be more than awesome. We were having the best time dreaming and thinking about our trip around the wondrous world. We spun the globe this way and that way, thinking about our route, until I noticed something. The sun was shining. I ran to the back door, opened it, and much to my surprise, there was a huge rainbow across the sky. Mr. Father, hurry! We have a great wonder in the backyard, I exclaimed. The world is full of incredible and beautiful places to visit, but you can also find something wonderful right in your own backyard. Molly Moccasin's Everyday Adventurer